everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video we're going to be unboxing the 2020 Collector Club Grab Bag. You never really know when Briar's going to be doing one of these grab bags. The last one was about two years ago in 2018, then I believe they had one in 2016, and then also in 2015. I did order the one in 2015, but I don't believe I ordered the ones in 2016 or 2018. I think these grab bags are really fun, and I was happy with what I received. There were four grab bags offered this year, and I chose grab bag number three. Unfortunately, the majority of the audio I got while recording ended up being unusable, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover over the footage after recording it. I'm sorry about that. Now, before I opened this grab bag, I actually did know a lot of what was already in here, because by the time I get the grab bags, I see all the photos that people post on Facebook and stuff, so I had a pretty good idea what I was getting. I still don't know exactly because some of the items that were included could have been like two different things. Like I knew I was going to get a special run in this bag and I knew it could be one of the two special runs that I saw people posting. But I didn't know which one it was going to be. So some things I was definitely expecting and then some things were kind of a little bit of a surprise. But let's actually get into opening up the first grab bag. First pulling out one of the classic unicorns that can be found at Walmart. It's got a very sparkly mane, a sparkly tail, and some really pretty pearly iridescent paint. I actually do not have this one. I have the other two Walmart unicorns. I don't think I'm going to keep this one though. I think it's pretty, but I'm not a super big fan on the mold. Probably end up either selling this one, giving it away, or maybe customizing it and then selling it. I'm not really sure. Also, I'm sorry about the really bad glare on all the boxes. Next item from the grab bag is a Hands Down from Briarfest 2018. This is one of the pop-up shop stablemate models. Now I did end up getting one of these guys, but the one I got had some really messed up paint on it. So what I think I'm going to do is end up customizing the one I have because the paint on it is really messed up. But there's something messed up about it. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. And instead I'm going to probably keep this guy OF and then repaint the other guy. So I'm actually really happy about getting this one, even though I did have it before, because now I have a nicer OF version and then another one I can customize. Next up is a Mystery Horse Surprise Stablemate Blind Bag, and I felt it a little bit with my fingers real quickly to see if I could guess which one was in there. And I figured out pretty quickly that it is the Grey and Illusion right there. So I went ahead and opened it up to see if I was correct, and... It was, in fact, the Grey and Illusion, which I do not believe I have this one. And he is actually really pretty. He's a little bit pearly-ish almost on his paint, but not like unrealistic kind of pearly shine. He's got some nice grey shading on him. I quite like this little model. He is very cute, and I like this mold. Then there is the Spirit Riding Free Paddock Pal Scale, like little horse and rider set things. I don't know what they call them exactly. But it's Boomerang and Abigail, and I do not have any of these ones. You can see little Abigail and Boomerang. They're so cute. I've definitely been wanting these spirit horses, but I just hadn't gotten around to purchasing any of them yet. But now I have Boomerang and Abigail, and I'm going to have to get Chico Linda and also Spirit. Then there is a box, a Stablemate Club box. This is the Stablemate Club model from 2017. Zaharat, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. I do actually already have this little guy. So he'll be another model that I won't be keeping from this grab bag. I'll either end up selling him or doing a giveaway or something with him. For all the models I'm not keeping, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But I'll probably end up doing something with them around Briarfest. Then there is a Mini Winnie's surprise. I always love Mini Winnie's. How can you not love getting some Mini Winnie's? I went ahead and felt the model out real quickly to see if I could guess which one. And I guessed that it was one of these three horses, the ones that have their little legs sticking out. I must be getting fairly good at feeling the little stable mates and Mini Winnie's in these bags because I was right and it was one of those little guys. It was this nice bay one who's actually painted pretty nicely for such a tiny, tiny little model. It's got a very nice, rich, vibrant red color. He is very cute. I'm always happy to get Mini Winnie's. Even if they're ones I already have, I do not care. I just, I love Mini Winnie's. They're so cute. And then there was also a cute sticker of a bay horse with the Mini Winnie as well. There were some items that were included in all of the grab bags, and I believe the Briar 2020 calendar was one of those items. This calendar is really cool. Very nice, high quality photos and color. 
And it's also really cool because they just have different kind of themes for each month based on real horses or their models. I think it's a really cool thing and it's definitely something I'm going to be keeping with my Briar memorabilia stuff. There's even little Patrick. Patrick is on the month of May. And then what's really cool is July has Briarfest and it even says Briarfest on the calendar dates. I thought that was a super cool little thing to add in there. This next item is something from all the way back from Briarfest 2013. It is Rockabilly. He has his original sticker there. The box on this is like super dirty, so it's definitely been pushed around a lot, I think, since Briarfest 2013. Now, I didn't know at first which of these I was going to get. All of the little classic guys from Briarfest 2013, they had different names, but for some reason I just thought they all had the same name. So I had no idea who was going to be in this box. I saw a lot of people got the Nochoan, no however you say that one, it's a name, I don't know. But it's a little black classic fighting stallion with boots and lassos on him. I assumed I was going to get that one, which I would have been very happy with. But then I was super excited and surprised to see that Rockabilly is actually the Blue Paisley Bronco. Out of these four classics from Briarfest 2013, Rockabilly is my favorite, and then the Black Rearing Mustang is probably my second favorite, but I really, really liked the Rockabilly one, so I was very excited when I opened it up and saw that it was, in fact, this one. I think he is super cute. He has a little bit of weird stuff going on with the decals. They get a little bit funky on them, but I don't really mind because he's just going to be a fun model to add into my collection and display. I'm not worried about showing him or him being completely perfect or anything like that. I just think he is adorable. And then the special run I got in my grab bag was Stunt Double. Now I saw people get either Stunt Double or Namid in their Collector Club grab bags number three. Now I unfortunately do already have both of these special runs and I love both of them. They are both super awesome. I did end up with Stunt Double who I think is just super, super gorgeous. And she is a model that actually came from all the way back in 2010. A few years ago, Briar even had like a Briarfest overstock sale thing on their website, and that's where I originally got this model. So I'm surprised to see that they still even had more of her left over. She's a super gorgeous model, and I already have her unfortunately, so she will end up as probably being sold at Briarfest. She has some really nice coloring and really nice masking. There's like nothing wrong with her. She's a great model. I definitely recommend her. In this pink box is the 2017 Celebration model, Nazr Nazruddin, however you pronounce his name. Now, this is another one where I do have this model already. I bought one of these guys at Briarfest 2018, I believe. But he is so cute. He's such a cute model. I actually really like this mold. His face is just adorable, which I can't really show you well because of the glare, but he is just super adorable. And I think instead of selling this guy, I'm actually going to keep him and etch him because I think he would make a pretty cool etchy. I already have in mind doing like a neat Tobiano or maybe even an Appaloosa etching pattern on him. I think that would look super cool. So for right now, I am planning on keeping that guy. I believe all of the Collector Club grab bags were these little jewelry boxes. I got the ballerina one here. These actually remind me a lot of my childhood because I had a dragon jewelry box that was very similar to this kind of style and artwork. I can think of a couple of kids I know that might like this, so I'm probably going to give that away to someone. The last traditional in here is Protocol from Danny and Ron's Rescue, which they have a documentary about their rescue on Netflix, by the way, which I highly recommend. It was really good. So I do not have this model yet. I believe I actually do have the dogs, because I think I bought the dogs from someone last year at Briarfest. But either way, I'm happy to have more Briar dogs. You can never have enough Briar dogs. And then here is Protocol. She is really pretty. Strapless is not my favorite mold, but I think I am going to keep her. I do like her face a lot. She has a really cool face marking. And I do like that she is from the Danny and Ron's Rescue, which I think is pretty cool. So for now, she is going to go into my collection, along with the Briar Dogs. And last, but certainly not least, is Malik, the 2019 Horse of the Year. Now, I'm very excited about this one because I've actually been planning on getting this horse. And I just kind of really never got around to buying her. The mane and tail are so cool, and I absolutely love the color on this. It's such a rich liver chestnut. I'm just, I'm very happy because I have been wanting this particular model. 
And I'm glad that she was in this particular grab bag. And then that is everything. I think overall getting this grab bag was worth it as I am keeping the majority of the things that I got. In fact, I'll show you everything that I'm going to be keeping and then everything that I'm not going to be keeping. So for keeping, I'm of course keeping the Malik, the 2019 Horse of the Year. Nazruddin, the 2017 Celebration Horse. Danny and Ron's Rescue Protocol Model and Dogs. The 2020 Briar Calendar. The Little Spirit Boomerang and Abigail. The Mini Winnie Surprise. The Surprise Stablemate. The Hands Down 2018 Stablemate. And the Briarfest 2013 Classic Model Rockabilly. As for the items I do not plan on keeping, there is the Ballerina Jewelry Box. The Special Run Stunt Double. The Stablemate Club Model Zaharit and the Unicorn Walmart Classic, although I am still kind of a little iffy on this one. I don't know how well it shows on camera, but I am really liking that pearly iridescent kind of color thing on it. The model Xena also has this, and I just absolutely love how it looks. So this is the only model I'm not 100% sure on. And then there you have it, guys. There is everything I got in the Briar Collector Club grab bag number three. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!